Resources giant says proposed build to cost them billions. The junior miner that went gangbusters today. And what Aussie kids want done to their inheritance. Trading Up, a collaboration by the West Australian and Grappa. We start with news that Aussie mining giant BHP is less than pleased about the newly proposed workplace legislation and how much it's going to cost them. The new bill, dubbed Same Job, Same Pay, aims to make companies pay the same rate to full-time staff as they do for contractors, if they are doing the same job. BHP thinks the new bill, which will be debated in Parliament in the spring, so isn't yet a law, will drive up wages costs. The miner employs over 4,000 permanent staff in Australia, as well as thousands of contractors. We can see their point, but come on guys, didn't you just make $6.6 .6 billion profit in the second half of last year? And this week's winner is clean energy. One government intervention that should cheer up the execs at BHP is Prime Minister Albanese's new deal with US President Joe Biden. The two leaders announced a new clean energy deal at the G7 summit in Japan this weekend, and it could be a winner for Aussie miners. Albo said part of the new agreement would mean the US government will treat Aussie companies as domestic suppliers for clean energy products. That's a big deal, as it means our resources sector could access US government subsidies when supplying the Yanks with renewable energy related materials, all without leaving Australia. Cheers Uncle Joe. Staying with the resources sector and the takeover battle for gold miner St. Barbara is heating up. Luke Tonkin's Silver Lake Resources have upped their bid for the WA based miner to $722 million, matching the bid of rival Genesis Minerals owned by Rayleigh Finlayson. Past the popcorn, this gold battle is about to reach smelting point. Onto the markets now, and Big Tin Can Holdings gets Graffa's Hattrick Award today, with its shares rising three days in a row. The Sydney-based software provider confirmed today it's received a takeover bid from US private equity firm Cyrus Capital. Shares in Big Tin Can have shot up 23% in the last three days. Still to come, we reveal the small cap miner making investors very happy today, and what Aussie kids think should be done with their inheritance. Stay tuned. And another news, the job site Seek says Aussie wages have risen 4.8% over the past year. That's good news, right? Uh, yes and no. Wages growth is still much lower than inflation, which is currently at 7%. <laughs> And what do young people want done with their inheritance? Apparently, we want our parents to spend it. A report by aged care provider CompliSource claims 70% of young Australians say, don't worry about putting something away for the next generation. You're not just Amelia Thermopolis. You are Amelia Mignonette Thermopolis Rinaldi, Princess of Genovia. The report also found that kids in WA are the most generous when it comes to their parents' cash. 84% want mum and dad to live out retirement in luxury, even if it means they get less money when the folks pass on. Maybe we're all planning to be YouTube millionaires by then. And finally, that soaring junior mining stock you've been waiting for, Osmond Resources. Shares in the Perth-based miner took off today, rising 18% on news it's acquiring a lithium borate project in Nevada, USA. A ka -ching. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Colin Ebsworth. We'll see you next time.